Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you have not watched one of these before, I basically just online shop a bunch of polished websites and show you guys my computer screen. I normally start on my Instagram. This is my page. Um, I have a lot of nail things. There's regular swatches and I try to incorporate some nail art every now and then. Um, I'm doing obviously a lot of fall things right now so head over there if you're ever looking for any more nail content. I also have some templates, um, a bunch of information on getting paid to be a swatcher and trying to um, build your kind of nail, nail business-ish type of thing. Um, period cup talk, discount codes, recent PR that I get. All kinds of things over here on my um, highlights but let's just get into the brands so I'm not gonna lie I um, have no plan for this video normally when I do these videos I will um, like kind of look at their Instagram for whatever brands I'm gonna talk about and like see what they have that's new or something I literally just picked these three brands five, ten minutes ago. So let's just get into the first one. This is Cirque Colors. Um, I am going to try my hardest not to order anything this, this video. Normally I don't order on these, but I have been um, getting a little bit of money recently into my kind of polish account that I just started. And so I do have a little bit of a polished budget and there are some things from all of these brands that I have been wanting to purchase. So we'll see how that goes. But this is Cirque Colors. They have so many beautiful polishes. They are fairly expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, but they are really nice and they don't have the best brush also, which I know I've talked about before, but I do think that you can switch them out. Anyway, let's just look at what they've got going on. This is the um, Vice collection for 2020. They do one of these every year. And I honestly really wanted this collection. Like, the swatches look so nice. Um, it, oh, wow. It looks like there's only two colors left. Um, so, that's not, that's good for me. I appreciate when things are out of stock. Um, but it just looks so pretty. Oh. But I kind of don't love limited edition polishes. Like, I can't share them with you guys later, really, because I have to be like, well, you can't get it. And I just don't like that. So I try really hard to limit um, buying limited edition polishes. There is one thing, though. Oh, wait, let's look at their fall. Let's see. Mm hmm. <laughs> This looks cute. Oh no, I thought that was green. That's a brown. Never mind. Hmm, I don't love any of these. I feel like I kind of have some of these colors already. Okay, let me just show you guys what I was wanting to look at and possibly might buy. What is this? Halloween picks. This is what happens when I don't plan things. I just get completely distracted. These are just like random ones that they thought were good. For all, This looks like Halloween to me, both of these. Okay, let's focus. Let's look at these new nail art sets. This is what I am like 70% wanting to buy right now. Again, it's limited edition, but they usually restock their sets. It just depends. But I'm really, really interested in... The blue and the purple. I think more the purple. Like, look how cute that looks. The blue is cool, but I just didn't see enough looks with the blue that I liked. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I guess... Oh, here's some. I don't know. I just felt like the purple looked really cool. That's cool. What is that? That looks cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's look back at the, this video is going to be all over the place. Good Lord. The purple set. Like, this is very possibly going to be added to the cart. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know. I just felt like the purple looks were a lot better. Like, all of these look really good. Mm, okay, but you have to spend, I think, $50 to get free shipping, so I'd have to get another one. Let's just put that in the cart, and we'll see what else we got. Belated. Oh, the birthday. They did come out with, like, these little, like, nail embellishments. I didn't really like that. Let's look at... Um, let's look at their holographic polishes. I think all of those are 14, so that would be right up my alley. I just, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I have everything. <laughs> like, I have a blue holographic. I don't really wear red. I won't really enjoy that. I have one of these. Like, I have something, like, you know, I just feel like... I'm getting to a point where I don't want to just be buying things because I can. Um, but it's also like I don't want to pay shipping. So if I just have to add a polish, then I don't have to pay shipping. I mean, the smoky quartz is cute. A black brown jelly with holographic. I do appreciate that they have like these, if you do like hashtag cert colors, because this is really nice to see, like, a lot of different lighting. Um, I will say it's very apparent they don't have a lot of different skin tones, which is frustrating. But I do kind of like this one. Like, it looks cool here. Oh, I just want to look. That looks really cool. Hmm. Okay, let's put all this in the car. And then we'll go through the rest of the brands and see because like I said this is like fairly extensive I mean it's going to be $50 for four polishes um so that's obviously not ideal but that's Cirque I mean I just kind of wanted to like go through the site a little bit I obviously had a few things in mind I had no desire for this I'll show you guys hello I had no desire for this one, the sea glass set. It seemed not interesting to me, and I'm not sure why, because I really do like these, like, um, like sheer kind of polishes. It just, for some reason, it felt like it wasn't anything special. Like, the other ones you can layer and do cool things with. It just felt like these were just sheer satin polishes, so not interested. Okay. The next one is Loud Lacquer. Um, I do sometimes get PR from them, but not all. I, I don't really know what. They kind of send stuff out, like, to different people for different launches. So they've only sent me one collection before. So, yeah. But um, they just had two giant collections. And so I am kind of feel like I'm, like, behind on their releases so let me let's look at oh collect let's look at collections and okay so this is their their first one um and there's only really one from this that interested in and it's sold out so that's not ideal but it's this extra credit it's a brown um holographic and I mean I appreciate I appreciate brown holographics I'm not a huge fan of just regular brown polishes but there's something about those holographic browns that are just fantabulous okay and then they have a new another because I think they had a different one before another collection with Bailey I don't know who this person is but a lot of people seem to and oh okay the collection looks like it's sold out um individually um yeah I don't know I just I only really liked this one color this one here and I kind of do have something similar um the collection is really pretty I just there's only one that I would like so I feel like I'm like 
coming up with individual polishes from this brand that like I want a bunch of singles but not necessarily the whole collection so like I really like this blue denim 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 color um I don't think this would look nice on my skin I think it's going to be too light for me um I still really like juice cleanse I've talked about that one before um I don't even know what this is what is this from I don't know I feel like I they I, I feel like they just release so much and I feel like I've been missing things. Um, that could be an old polish, I guess. But yeah, I, I don't know. There's a few that I want. Um, but I don't know, not a ton. Honestly, when I saw these, like, I hate when like they switch to a different picture. But when I saw these and they were like muted because they're... Um, sold out I liked that they were pastel and so I was like oh they have some pastels and I didn't know about them but no it's just that the picture like you can see on this one it's like full color and this is just like kind of muted because it's sold out but yeah that's loud lacquer there's some that I want and some that I'm just like not interested in um but yeah okay this next one, I have no idea. I don't even think I've ever... No, that's not true because I did order from them. Um, they just have a lot of stuff going on too. I feel like every brand is just like pumping things out recently. And I literally can't keep up. Like fall came so fast and I just feel like I seriously cannot keep up with everything that's going on. Oy, okay, so... I mean, I guess they're kind of like the same price point as Cirque because here's three polishes for $30. But they have nail polish. This. All Things Fall and Halloween Trio. So it's, oh, nine piece collection. So all of these others. So that's the trio. Their fall collection did look really pretty. I think they kind of have a lot. It's like nine polishes. It seems like a lot but let me one two three four five so they have a few more on this page than just those oh wait wait, wait. sorry i'm trying to figure this out because it says trio so where's the other one is that that blue orange and then okay 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 i'm, I'm back i'm back they've got the halloween trio and then they've got the nine piece collection boy okay well let's look at this and see if there's any in here that look nice I did see this color um this one up here on Jay's page and it looks really really nice um I do like that one I just don't know if I would wear it I feel like the base is a little bit too cream and I mean this is the only other one that I kind of like but I don't need another green polish That orange is cute. Oh, does it have leaves in it? Shut up. Oh no, it's just regular flakies. It looks like a little leaf flaky. That's adorable. Okay, so not anything new really that I'm interested in. Because I think I bought things from... No, not from... Oh yeah. I bought things from the... Not today, the beach break collection. So I think that's the last one before this. What's their summer look like? Mm, it's a little too much for me. Like I don't love like when things are packed with flakies. I like them to be a little bit more um, sparse. I didn't know they had brush heads and they're 10 cents. That's good to know. Like, I love, like, this, but I'm wondering, is it just a hollow, or does it have... That's really nice. That's really cute. I just think that they have some really cute, really cute, like, little crellies. I've purchased a few from them. They're actually in my, um... In my state, like it's 
they're from Indiana. They have, um, <clears throat> like, their shop and everything, I think, is in Indiana. I do kind of like that they put everything together so, like, I can compare, like, this pink to this pink. Because they're, like, in color order. That's really nice. Poor decisions. That's funny. See, like, I wouldn't, I don't know why, but I've really been drawn to, like, these red specialty polishes. And I don't wear red, like, hardly ever. Like, that's not my color. Ooh. That's beautiful. Hmm. Soft peachy pink. Hmm. That's really nice. I do, um, I will say I do like their price point. Um, even though it's $10 for a cream, it's also $10 for a hollow or a flaky. So it's like, they aren't like, I mean, some brands are like twelve fifty for a cream. And I'm like, y'all, oh, I just, I don't know. I don't mind. I mean, cream is my favorite finish, but I also don't think that there's any need for them to be any more than 10 bucks. That's cute. Hmm, that's really nice. I like this for like Halloween-ish. Ooh. A jelly. Mm. I do appreciate that. Maybe I'll have to make a KB Shimmer wish list and start like um buying up a few. I'm trying to buy things from newer brands um, and making sure that I'm like branching out a little bit. And here in a few weeks, I will be doing a video similar to this, but I'm actually going to be buying things. So keep an eye out for that. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, that's really pretty. Winter collection. Oh, that's pretty. All right. I think we're almost to the end. Yeah. Okay. So they have some magnets um, for their polishes and stuff, which is obviously helpful. I wanted to look at these, though. KB Shimmer branded items and tools. Hmm. Cute. Pomegranate sugar scrub. I love sugar scrubs. Hmm. Well, that's KB Shimmer. Um. So yeah, I think that that's that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry it was kind of all over the place. I really didn't have like a set, um, like look for the, what I was trying to look for, but I do, um, plan to continue these. You guys really seem to like kind of shopping with me. Like I said, I'll do one here in a couple weeks where I am actually going to be buying things. So keep a lookout for that. I don't think I'm going to purchase the Cirque right now. Um, I will see, I'll see, and I'll obviously let you guys know on Instagram if I end up buying it, but yeah, I think that that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.